Hey folks, how's it going? Hope you are doing well. Thank you for joining me. We are going to be playing Lift Your Spirits. It seems like this one was uh, late night trying to get a paper done or something like that. I could be totally mistaken and getting that confused, but hope you're doing well. Let's get into it. Alone on a Friday night and I'm spending it here. I get it. My fingers were sluggish as they typed out the last bit of conclusion needed to finish off my paper. I didn't even bother spell checking the rest, my hand dragging the cursor across to close the document. All right, time to submit it. I typed out my regards to Mr. Holtman. Kindly find the attached file of assignment, your student, Des. Stifling a yawn, I turned on my phone to check the time. 2.53 AM. The universal experience of losing sleep and gaining eye bags as a college student came to grace me in its hold once again, it seems. At least it's the weekend. Turning off the computer, it suddenly hit me how quiet it was without my fingers tapping away at the keyboard. Everyone else had left. The campus was open 24-7, but who else was dumb enough to push their luck in submitting their assignment this late? I consider myself lucky Mr. Holtman gave me the extended deadline, otherwise I'd be screwed. Still, there were always the rumors. Disembodied voices echoing through the empty rooms. Excuse me. Heavy footsteps shuffling down the halls. Those who were lucky claimed to see a black silhouette sulking around the vending machine at the end of the corridor. Staring at them. I wasn't the superstitious type, but I had to admit the eerie silence of being the only person here gave me the creeps. I don't know if I'm necessarily superstitious, but I can believe in some creepy things happening. I was recalling all the- I heard that, and that wasn't in my house. I was recalling all the gossip spread around by the student body when a sound made me perk up. I glanced behind me over the monitors to see if someone had come in. Nobody. I ignored the goosebumps rising on my arms as I gathered up my items into my bag. Superstitious or no? I... <laughs> Sorry. My th this thing opened up. Superstitious or no, I've done what I came here for. Time to go. I shambled to the elevators and tapped the buttons. It rumbled to life, slowly making its way up to my floor. Just a couple more minutes and I'm out of here, I assured myself. I don't know why, but I found myself constantly checking behind me as if expecting someone there. Yet it always empty every time I look. I tap the button some more. Mm-hmm. The hairs at the back of my neck stood, as if I was being watched. I am being watched. <laughs> Ugh. I clenched my fist, ignoring how sweaty they felt in my pockets. Yep, I hear footsteps. Oh, and breathing in my ear. Is there someone behind me? <laughs> I jumped. The door slide the door slid open as I realized the breath I didn't realize I was holding. I didn't even consider looking back as I stepped inside, refusing to turn around until the doors closed. The chipper background music they played calmed me down somewhat. I'm always in disbelief they were still playing it at this hour. Almost. I press the button for the ground floor, the elevator moving with a small jolt. With nothing to do but wait, I stared as the number slowly descended. The lull of the elevator was starting to make me sleepy. Don't you dare fall asleep in this elevator. I thought of the things I could do once I got home just to distract myself from the rest of the ride. I noticed that we're talking about going down, but we've been stuck at 10 for um, uh, uh, quite a minute. A shower, for sure. Microwave- That is rude! I was in the middle of my dialogue. I blinked at the flickering lights. The elevator shuddered and came to an abrupt halt. The music cut out. I tried the button for the ground floor, then the rest. Unresponsive. Pushing the intercom button gave nothing but static. Uh, hello? N no, no, this can't be happening. Taking a moment to compose myself, I called out. I is anyone out there? I'm stuck in here, help! I started slamming the doors as panic took hold. There had to be someone out there. Help, 
Please, I'm in here. I didn't stop for a good minute, getting more and more desperate as tears welled up in my eyes. Why? Why now? Why me? I knocked my forehead against the door in a slump, ready to curl up and cry. This sucks. I was about to turn before I felt a chill run up my spine. The air felt heavy. Is this claustrophobia setting in? I didn't think I had fear of closed spaces. I do. <laughs> in real life, I do. This would absolutely be a nightmare for me. Unless... Oh, no. Oh, that was in my... Mm -mm. There was a raspy moan from behind me. Ye we turned our head no with a... No, we didn't, actually. I turned my head and screamed. Across me was a growing blotch of darkness, an oozing mass that seemed to melt through the walls. I scrambled away, my back flat against the doors. Oh, oh, hell. A hand emerged from the writhing form, grasping at the edges. Foul-smelling black ichor dripped from its fingers. Another arm followed suit, clinging to the other side. I couldn't look away. What the hell? I couldn't find my voice to scream. A face took shape. Oh, the fact that it's smiling is just even more unnerving. A pair of hollow eyes and a manic grin with several teeth. It seemed to smile directly at me. I blacked out. Uh-huh. I'd have blacked out when the two arms came out. The eyes didn't have to do anything. Keep... Hey, wake up. Hey. I heard a voice panic and flustered from above me. Ah, the hell, what? Hi? A person was looming over me, visibly worried as I blinked back to consciousness. You're alive. I couldn't really check for a pulse, so... Anyway, are you alright? Oh, that's mean. That would be so mean to say. I think so? Phew, I'm glad. I didn't mean to scare you back there. I realized I was still in the elevator, but now with a stranger twiddling their thumbs in front of me. They were taller than me, only a few good inches past my head. Their limbs looked even more awkward in the baggy sweater they had. Are you the thing that came out of the... blotch? I wasn't sure if they forgot to wash away their makeup or if they haven't slept for three days straight. Possibly both. I realized they were staring at me as well. Their eyes focused on me a little too long as if they'd forgotten how to blink. Um, so, I suddenly remember the last thing I saw. That creepy shadow from the wall. But before you were here, there was, there was something crawling out of the walls. <laughs> I know it sounds insane, but I swear, it looks straight out of a horror movie. The stranger looked nervous. Crap, they think I'm nuts. Don't look at me like that. No, I believe you for sure. You saw it too? Well, sort of. Uh, sorry. I was really trying to be sneaky. That must have been uncomfortable to watch, huh? Ha, <laughs> was you? No. G get me the hell out of this elevator. You come again? What are you saying? <laughs> well, I heard you yelling for help and I couldn't just leave you alone, so I did the next best thing I could. What kind of sick joke is this? I believe everything at the bottom is probably just going to be like really mean. Are you saying that was you? Uh, yes, in a way. There's really no easy way to say this. I'm not alive. Not the way you are. Did they mean? You mean like a ghost? The stranger lit up appreciatively. Basically, you must have heard the rumors, right? <laughs> well, it's me. In the flesh. Well, sans the flesh. Stick your hand through- <laughs> I'm just gonna believe you. I feel like this isn't the worst situation to be meeting a ghost for the first time. The stranger gave a sigh of relief. Thank you for trusting me. Um, I'd ask for your name, but, but I already know that it's Dez. How did you- <laughs> I've been watching you for a while. Because that's not creepy. Excuse me? Tonight. I've been watching you for a while tonight. It's not safe to be alone this late. I would know. Before I can ask further, they straightened. Anyways, I stuck around to see you write your paper. 
I don't necessarily agree with your hypothesis, but interesting nonetheless. Nobody asked for your opinion. Thanks, I think. They gave a shy smile. No problem. This wasn't the way I expected my night to go, but I guess the sooner I accepted it, the better. Pretty much, yeah. I should probably ask for their name instead of calling them stranger. You know my name, but what about yours? Oh. They looked away, fingers picking at their sleeve. I, I don't remember. I knew who I was and what I did when I was alive, but not my name. Strange, isn't it? Have you ever thought of picking one for yourself? Their eyes widened as if the thought never occurred to them. I never needed a name, but if I were to have one, I've always liked the way Alma sounds. Sounds perfect. Their smile widened. Thank you, Des. Alma went back to twiddling their fingers. We stood in silence for a while, gauging on what to say next. I kept glancing back at their hands, wondering if they'd feel as solid as they look. They knew I was staring, but didn't seem to mind, waiting patiently in front of me. My thoughts were running wild from sleep deprivation and shock to actually form words past our introductions, to be honest. They started humming softly, as if to fill the silence. That's when it hit me. For a ghost? They could easily be a student just like me. I have to ask, how did you... Um... Alma had a knowing look in their eyes. Oh man, it's honestly kind of embarrassing. Insist, we're already here. Despite having no blood flowing through their veins, their cheeks seem to darken. We, we don't have to get into it. But I really want to know, please? I... They hesitated before nodding. Promise you won't make fun of me. Promise. Okay. So I was staying late working on an assignment, just like you. No one was around. Even back then, I was known as a loner most of the time. It didn't bother me. While I was working, I got thirsty. No big deal. So I headed over to the vending machine for a drink. They paused, hands shaking. They clasped at the wrist and twisted before continuing. Just... Just a soda. Not too much to ask, right? I paid for the damn thing, but somehow my hand got stuck in the dispenser. So I pulled and pulled and, well, they struggled a bit before I waved for them to continue. It fell. I felt my whole body being crushed under the weight. I couldn't even cry out for help. Okay, so you're the dark shadow in the corridor. And the whole time my hand was still stuck in that thing. Not that I could even tell. I think my wrist was beyond saving at that point. They sunk into themselves. I died trying to get some cheap soda. How pathetic is that? It's not. I'm sorry that happened to you. It kind of sounds like you deserved it. Ah, let's be more compassionate. Let's, let's throw some karma points out there. It's not. I'm sorry that happened to you. I put my hand over theirs. It passed right through, giving an ice-cold chill as my fingertips, but Alma seemed to appreciate it, <laughs> appreciate it nevertheless. They looked up at me, their nervous hand finally coming to a stop. I've never told anyone about it before. I didn't think it would feel this freeing. Thank you. Y you know, I, I think you're a really great person. I want to help you get out of here. I tilted my head. That would be fantastic. I would actually love to not be here. But I'm hoping that you're the only ghost here that I need to worry about and there's not like some demonic entity that's like holding you here. How are you going to do that? I can try some things. That is if you trust me. <laughs> trust. All right, we're going to trust you. They clapped their hands excitedly. Okay, here we go. You might want to hold on to something. Before I could ask further, the elevator began to drop. Oh, hell. My heart plunged in my throat as my weight shifted upwards. Alma? Hang on. Let me focus. The buttons for each floor flashed beside me. I closed my eyes shut and decided to trust them. It felt like a roller coaster heading straight to the ground. The air whizzed around me. I gripped my teeth and clenched my hands, knuckles probably white if I bothered to look. And just like that, it stopped. I yelped as the elevator jolted. Ooh, I landed on my ass with a smack. 
I blinked my eyes open to see Alma clapping excitedly. Is it weird that I absolutely love her turtleneck? <laughs> or their turtleneck? I really... I love it. They looked over to see me on the floor and gestured towards the door. They creaked open, as if manually pulled apart by an unseen force. My jaw dropped as I realized they really did bring me to the ground floor. You really did it! I did, I did! I never got to do that before- What? <laughs> I never got to do that before? I'm glad that I got to be the test subject. I couldn't believe my eyes. I stood and threw my arms around Alma, only to completely pass through them. Yeah, come on. They yelped and backed away to the wall. Give a signal before you do that. I don't appreciate feeling hands inside of me. It's gross. Ah, sorry. I gathered myself and stepped through the doors while I'm following suit. Yeah, I could imagine that wouldn't feel good. Sure enough, the lobby was empty, the clock on the wall indicating it was close to 4 a.m. now. Well, I guess this is it. I turned to see them trying hard not to reach for, for their hands, fingers twitching to intertwine with one another. It all happened so fast. It sunk in now that I could leave and go home right now if I wanted to. Alma, thank you. I appreciate it. They nod understandingly. I stood there for a moment as they looked at me before averting their eyes. They were waiting for me to leave. I grasped at my phone inside my pocket, mustering the courage to ask what I was about to ask. Would you ever want to hang out again? Am I asking the ghost if they want to chill? Want to go get a coffee? <laughs> they did a double take. Huh? Uh, would you want to- Yes! Oh, I made a friend. But, uh, why would you want to? Why wouldn't I? I like you. Once again, their cheeks darken despite being them. I, I like you too. Yeah, I'd love to hang out again. Great. Preferably when I'm, you know, not stuck and helpless in an elevator. And how about you don't do the blob thing? Jesus. My heart skipped a beat as they laugh lightly. <laughs> Preferably, of course. I'll see you next week. Yes. Don't worry about a time or place. I can always find- The hell? I can always find you. Wherever you are in the building. Alright, cool. So you're not, like, following me home. Kind of unsettling, but okay. Stay safe, Des. I waved and headed towards the entrance, pulling my phone out to call for a driver from one of my apps. When I turned to look back, Alma was already gone. Aww. I got the good ending, friends for life, or more. <laughs> cool, I got the good ending. Let's try to see what the bad ending looks like. Ah, okay. Oh, cool, so this will, okay. Just figured a button out, thank you guys. Uh, ew, don't touch me, creep. Oh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to. Just give me some space, will you? I realized I was still in the elevator, but now with a stranger twiddling their thumbs in front of me. They were taller than me. All right, so that's going to be the same. Are you saying that was you? What kind of sick joke is this? We're going with that second. Uh, I was just trying to help. There's really no easy way to say this. I'm not alive. Not the way you are. All right. So, believe them. Stick your hand through them. That does seem, like, horrifically invasive. My hand shot out before I could think twice. What?! The tips of my fingers instantly felt airy and ice cold, like touching something solid yet not. The stranger yelped and backed away. Hey, do you just go around sticking your fingers into people you just met? Uh, not, n uh, not normally. S sorry, I thought you were messing with me. The stranger was having none of it. Ugh, why do I even bother? If you sit tight and don't do anything stupid, they'll come find you in the morning. They shifted into a familiar black shapeless entity, melting into a puddle and disappearing through the floor. Exactly the same way they had entered. I found myself alone for the next seven hours. Holy crap. The workers found me half dozing in the corner the next morning. I stayed late most nights on campus to see if the stranger would show up, but it seemed they were ignoring me on purpose. I never saw them again. <laughs> okay, then. So basically, the game could have been very, very short if I was just completely rude and a piece of crap. <laughs> oh, that was cute. I kind of, 
I guess I was expecting like this massive horror game kind of thing, but that was that was adorable. I liked Alma. That they were just they were just too cute. And I like their sweater. I love baggy sweaters like that. Just Oh, I like Alma. They're cool. I hope I get to see them again. So anyway, that was ending two, the good ending. And ending one is the bad ending. The ending one is just like you being a total douche canoe. So there's that. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me on this one. I actually, so what is this? At the time that this video is being released, last week, I played two, I actually paid played three games last week. One came out right, and that was the one for Tuesday, that Midnight Fishing. I tried to play Nocturnals, which did not work for me. I got the game to play, but the audio for the game is completely wiped. So I'm trying to get that fixed, and when I can, I do want to release that game. It's the Nocturnals demo. By the time I probably get it fixed, the whole game's going to come out. So hopefully I can get that one working. And the other one was Fear Assessment. Um, just another assessment game, you know, they get into your computer and mess around. Um, the problem is when they do certain things in game, um, it shuts my recording off. So I can't actually get the whole game to play. So again, if I can figure something out with that, I will. I might uh, do a different type of program for that one. But so that's kind of why like last week was a little sparse. Um, but I am trying to, you know work out my kinks, <laughs> work out those kinks on those videos and stuff. If not, we're just going to keep moving. I know there's a list of games that I want to get to and a list of things that I want to see. So, and things I want to share with you guys. So if you are returning sub to my channel, thank you so much. Your support truly means everything to me, guys. I, I can't do this. You know, <laughs> this is just, I, I, love you guys so much. You're just awesome. And to see the sub count grow the way that it has within the last couple of months has just blown my mind away. So thank you so much. I really appreciate you. And if you're new to my channel and you made it this far through all my ramblings and all my crazies, thank you so much. I'm glad you're here and I'd love to see your face again. I would appreciate it if you would click on the subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. And I'd like to see you again. I would love to hang out again. <laughs> but anyway, until the next video, guys, please take care of yourselves. Know that I love you and I'll see you guys later. Bye.